Well, this is Artifacts of Mars, and a bunch of leaked, leaky leaks, emails from uh, DNC shows, they show a pattern of corruption that should really surprise no one. The only part that's uh, probably illegal is the first one here. This is one of three, got this, these three off Drudge. Washington Post and DNC hold joint fundraiser for Hillary Clinton. Lawyers said illegal did it anyway. Yeah, the uh, press isn't supposed to be doing this type of thing. It would be... Violation of the First Amendment. If you don't see a conflict there, then I'll try to explain. They're supposed to be independent. They're supposed to be nonpartisan, not bipartisan, but nonpartisan, and saying they're from the Fundraising for the Democratic Party uh, person is not right. Like, like the lawyer said, probably illegal. Washington Post said, and DNC still have help. Another jaw dropping release when the latest WikiLeaks document dump of DNC emails outlines. Planning for joint fundraiser in September 2015. Apparently, the Washington Post was holding a party. The NC saw an opportunity to make a fundraiser out of it and sell tickets to the party donors. However, the email chain shows lawyers from DNC said they can't publish the price for the tickets because the joint event would be illegal. And here's one of them from Jordan Kaplan, National Finance Director of DNC. Great. You're never going to list the price since the lawyers told us we can't do it. On September 22nd, 2015, at 11.25 a.m., that name's not going to happen, wrote, they weren't going to give us price per ticket, and they don't want Party be listed in any package we're selling the donors. If we let them know we have donors in town who will be at the debate, we can add them to the list of the party. They aren't going to give us a price per ticket. Same person. And we don't want their party to be listed in any package we're selling the donors. We we'll let them know we have donors in town who will be at the debate. We can add them to the list of party. I guess that's the same thing. So, right there, you have what is almost certainly a violation of the law by the DNC. Doing a fun, impromptu fundraiser for Hillary. Of course, nothing will happen. Let's take a look at the next story. Hack emails show Democratic Party hostility towards Sanders. They don't like him any more than RNC likes Trump. The difference with RNC is they made it open to the public for see to see that they uh, hated Trump. DNC hates uh, Bernie, but uh, they never made that clear. Several emails posted by WikiLeaks and his document disclosure website show DNC officials scoffing at Sanders and his spurs, and in one instance questioning his commitment to his Jewish religion. Some emails show 
DNC and White House officials mulling whether to invite guests with controversial backgrounds to the Democratic Party events. So your events will be empty. Although WikiLeaks posted the emails Friday, it did not disclose the identity of who provided the private material. Those knowledgeable about the breach said last month Russian hackers had penetrated DNC computer system. Same time, DNC Chairwoman Debbie Wasserman Schultz said the breach was one serious incident and a private contractor hired sweep the organization's network and moved as quickly as possible to kick out the intruders and secure our networks. So basically, I don't like him. Bernie Sanders is a Jew, and they're not too keen on Jews. Trust me on this one. Now, this next one should come as no surprise. Leaked emails show DNC officials planned anti-Trump protests. These weren't all uh, spontaneous people just coming together to protest Trump. This is all planned in advance. George Soros, DNC, and so forth. No surprise here. On April 29, DNC press staffer Rachel Palermo alerted Eric Walker, Deputy Communications Director, about a Facebook page for an anti-Trump protest on May 2nd, South Bend. Whoa, thanks for our turn, turns for finding this out, Walker replies. I'd like it as long as the students feel safe getting involved. I imagine this demo would be nicer than one Sam Fran today. So, there you have it. The only one that's seriously disturbing is where they broke the law by setting up a fundraiser for Hillary with Washington Post. Somebody ought to go to jail for that. Other than that, no real surprises. From our facts, Mars, thanks for watching.